Hello everyone, today we are going to make a snack that is crispy and it is called rempeye. Some people call it peye, some people call it tempeye. It is normally made on a mold but you can also just drizzle it around the pot which is much easier so I'm going to do that version and for that they normally call it tempeye because you tempe means to plaster something okay on your face if you plaster any foundation thickly they call it tempe foundation okay so it's called tempeye today okay because I'm going to do that method so what you need is lots of cooking oil and you need rice flour I've taken here blended rice flour you will need two cups of blended rice flour, one soup spoon of tapioca flour, some water and some coconut milk. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how much. You can watch me as I do for two cups how much I would use. And this is a bit of uh, what they call I kapo. Add a bit of water. You only take the water, about one tablespoon of the water and some white pepper. Here I have something. This is optional. This is the Maggi Choco Prasa. This is really optional. You can do without it. And also you will need salt. Fine salt. And you will need one egg with the white. And then some ikan bilis. And today I'm using the Japanese ikan bilis. I'm not going to bother uh, removing the head and all that because it's so fine. And here I've got like half a bowl of peanuts. Brown nuts that has been cut into two. You can split it lengthwise or halfway with a knife. Okay, but no need to remove the skin. The skin on makes it look prettier. And many people have got different things that they add in. What I'm going to add in today is three candle nuts and four pips of garlic. I'll blend it. Now what I have here is the fennel seeds, about one tablespoon. Different people use different things in it. The Indonesians like to use leaves and they do not like to use these two things. Instead, they like the kaffir lime leaves cut very thinly. And some people use um, turmeric powder. I'm not going to bother doing it because then it will stain your oil a bit. You will find it difficult to reuse the oil. And here we have one tablespoon of coriander seeds but not whole just hold it so that it would split open it will taste better this way and you will need a bowl to mix everything and a sieber and most important you will need a pot like this which is not stainless steel you will need a tray like this with absorbent paper something to dish out the crispy repair and you will need a pot like this a ladle like this to spoon the oil all over but most important you need like an aluminium or a iron wok. Stainless seal will not work for this. Okay. Okay, hari ni kita akan membuat tempeyek ya. Bukan rempeyek tapi tempeyek. Kerana kita akan tempek-tempek adonan ni dekat periuk kita lah, dekat wok kita, dekat kuali kita di tepi-tepi. Okay, lagi senang daripada pakai acuan. Acuan nanti pun dah patah pun. So, ini rasa senang sikit lah. Apa yang kita perlukan ialah minyak yang agak banyak. Lepas tu, ini blended rice flour ya. Ataupun beras blended. Okay. Dan saya akan gunakan dua cup macam ni satu suju sup tepung ubi kayu sedikit air and then santan dan sini ada air kapur ya so kita akan ambil air dia saja dan lada sulah sini ada maggi cukup rasa kalau tak suka pakai boleh tiadakan dia lepas tu ada garam kacang tanah ni anti potong ah macam mana pun boleh potong lah tapi tinggalkan kulit-kulit dia lagi cantik ya potong setengah ke potong melintang ke ini ikan bilis Jepun anti tak buang dia punya apa ke Kepala pun dia kecil-kecil halus-halus Lepas tu satu telur ya eh. Dan kita perlukan bekas macam ni Dengan tapis Dan di sini nanti ada 3 buah keras Masukkan dalam blender dengan 4 bawang putih Ni semua kita blend dengan sedikit air Lepas tu sini ada satu sudu makan jintan manis Dan satu sudu makan biji ketumbar Biji ketumbar ni nanti yang taruh dekat batu tumbuk Dan gesek-gesek gitu saja supaya dia pecah dua okay? Ada orang pakai macam-macam dalam ni kan Ada pakai kunyit, ada yang pakai pakai daun limau purut macam-macam lah ada dia orang pakai tapi aunty tak pakai semua tu hari ni lah cuma ini dua saja saya suka ini dua saja ya dan lepas ni saya akan ayak lah tepung beras dengan tu bersama-sama okay I've saved two cups of the blended rice flour and now I'm saving the tapioca flour one heaping teaspoon of tapioca flour and to this I will add in a little bit of white pepper just one two three four five and one heaping teaspoon of salt we can adjust the salt later one heaping teaspoon of salt and this is really optional it's up to you whether you want to use it or not I'm using a bit of that 
Maggi Choco Rasa. The Maggi Choco Rasa, I would say, is half a teaspoon because this is a real tiny spoon. Eh? Tadi saya sudah ayak dua cup tepung beras blended tu ya. Lepas tu satu sudu macam gini tepung ubi kayu ya. Lepas tu masukkan satu sudu kecil garam halus dan satu sudu yang kecil mungkin setengah sudu kecil lah Maggi cukup rasa ya jangan banyak banyak. Lepas tu masukkan ke semua semua ni biji ketumbar yang kita macam tumbuk kasar kasar gitu kan bukan tumbuk halus saya macam gesek gesek aja biar dia pecah pecah sikit dan ini adalah biji cinta manis ya. Lepas tu saya akan masukkan bawang putih dan buah keras yang saya blend lah. Sekarang saya akan bancuh lagi dengan air dan curah kurang curahkannya. I have added in one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of maggi cukup rasa. After sieving both the flour, yeah, added one teaspoon of salt as well. And now the blended candle nuts and about four. Kali goes in. Okay. Sekarang saya akan kukus sedikit telur ni dan juga masukkannya. Saya juga akan masukkan air kapo ya. Cuma air putih dia saja tak payah masukkan dia punya kapo kapo serbuk tu semua biar dia larut sedikit. Lah. Sebagai satu susu sup. Mungkin dua lah tu saja ya. Add the soda water. Don't take the soda itself. Just take the water and uh, take about two soup spoons of the box coconut milk. Dua sudu sup santan pekat ni. Lepas tu kita bancu. Air jangan masukkan terus banyak banyak. Dia kena cair sikit tapi bukan terlalu cair lah. Lepas tu kita rasa. You we'll have to mix this up. I'm gonna put about one cup of plain water and mix it up you have to make it dilute but not too dilute and taste it after that this yellowness is coming just from the egg warna kuning ni datang hanya daripada telur lah nanti tak pakai serbuk kunyit sebab nanti minyak tu pun akan macam nampak gelap-gelap sikit kan nak pakai semula untuk sayur-sayur susah sikit atau makanan apa-apa pun susah sikit sebab dah ada warna ya nanti tak suka masukkan kacang dengan ikan bilis terus ke dalam ni ok mungkin nanti masukkan lagi sikit lagi ya satu per empat lagi added about one fourth of a cup of water and now I would actually taste it and see the saltiness is just nice in fact light the stove empty and let it heat up before adding the oil and letting the oil heat up again saya akan panaskan kuali dulu lepas tu kuali aluminium ya ataupun kuali besi Jangan pakai non-stick ke, jangan pakai yang stainless steel, dia memang tak menjadi. Okay, this is how your batter should be. But we will do a test run first to see everything okay. If not, you can always adjust it. Get everything ready like this, yeah. Your ikan bilis and your kacang nearby. Wash the ikan bilis and toss off the water. Siapkan semua macam ni, ya. Senang. Panaskan minyak. Lepas tu kena ada senduk macam ni dan ikan bilis kacang. Kita buat satu untuk test garam semua cukup tak ya. Kita ambil sikit, masukkan ikan bilis sikit dan kacang sikit. Okey dan cincit-cincitkan dekat tepi kacang ni. Dan api jangan besar sangat biar dia goreng dan kita giros-giroskan minyak kita buat satu dulu lah tengok sedap ke garam semua ok baru kita teruskan ini dia sejuk lepas tu masukkan dalam botol kedap udara ya. ok we are doing a test run just scoop up a little bit and put in a bit of the ikan bilis and the peanuts and pour it over the sides of the pot let it drizzle and come down and we will test and see if the salt and everything is okay have a slim spoon like this so that when it's fried you can scoop it out i'm only making one first like i said take a scoop add in a bit of the peanuts and the it can be this the anchovies huh? okay uncle covid has tested the 
first batch she said it's nice so now I'm going to continue making this is how you pour it down do a few eh? put the peanuts in and the anchovies and just take your time and gently pour it down okay. tadi uncle covid dah testing dia kata ok sedap so nanti continue lah masukkan kacang dengan ikan bilis lepas tu masukkan dia pelan-pelan nanti tiros ha. tapi tak tiros minyak sekarang nanti nak tiros minyak Sikit. api sederhana saja ya sederhana kecil dan bila dia masak dia akan tanggal sendiri dari tepi ni ya when you do the first batch just now I did the best test run and I went and asked Uncle Cole to test it so I put the flame on low and when I came back I thought the oil was still very hot so I increased the flame and started putting in it wouldn't slide down so easily okay so what I had to do in that case was to just move the oil all over and it will just come out tadi auntie pergi kasih Uncle Cole testing kan Masa tu saya pak celurkan api. Bila balik ingat uh, minyak masih panas, saya naikkan api dan terus virus. Tapi dia susah nak tanggal macam batch pertama baru saya ingat. Patutnya kena apa ni panas api kena betul-betul panas sebelum uh, kita masukkan uh, yang seterus-terusnya. So lepas ni saya akan terbalikkan ni ada tiga dekat sini. Bila campur-campur Lepas ni bila saya nak masukkan lagi adonan ni Saya kena pastikan dia betul-betul panas ya Memang, memang sedap Dia macam crispy dan ringan Itu yang best Ringan aja adonan yang saya buat tadi okay. Lepas tu terbalikkan lagi Kejap lagi dah boleh kawatkan dia keluar lah keluarkan yang pertama tadi teruskan sebanyak mana minyak yang boleh lepas tu letak atas kertas tisu paper eh. biar dia serap lagi minyak-minyak tengok cantik dan uh, ikan bilis ni memang senang nak masak sebab yang ikan bilis Jepun kan dia mahal sikit tapi tak takpelah kita pakai sikit saja with the amount of flour that I showed you the measurement that I gave you I managed to get I had had to increase the ikan bilis though, but I got about 13 pieces like this, lazy piece, pieces like this, yeah. Dengan adonan tadi, saya kena tambah sikit lagi ikan bilis tadi, kacang memang cukup. Saya dapat 13 keping macam ni, ya. So, kalau nak goreng banyak, dua kali ikan lah, dua, dua kali ganda. Ya, dia memang sedap. Dengan uh, adonan ni saya dapat 13 keping lah Okay, I got 13 pieces like this Really pretty, really crunchy And it's very light, it's not a very uh, strong batter Okay, thank you And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my recipes Bye-bye